Hello everybody and welcome back to Advanced Apple Music. I'm actually going to use this video to segue from my last video where I showed you how to set up some shortcuts. And what I'm going to do is um, leverage this to start talking about some new features that were just in the latest version of the app that came out. Uh, one feature that I'm particularly excited about is that you can now have links to particular sections in Marvis, which is absolutely awesome for automating things or just quickly getting to where you want to be uh, when you are trying to accomplish certain other things. So. Um, basically, you know, if instead of opening Marvis and just getting to where it already was, um, if you want to start fresh every single time, there's a link to your home screen and that's what I'm going to show you right here. So what I've got in front of me is, um, this is just kind of a basic, um, shortcut here and it's going to set playback destination. Uh, what I'm going to do is set that to, let's just say like guest bedroom here. Um, so I showed you that in the last one, and then if you run the shortcut, it'll automatically change over your playback destination to a HomePod or something along those lines, while still letting you use Marvis to control the music. It doesn't do the handoff thing, it actually airplays from your device to um, whatever speaker setup you're trying to use. So one thing that's really convenient now that's in the latest version of the app is that we can actually... Um, leverage links to different places inside of your Marvis home screen. Uh, I'm actually going to paste or put these links in the description because uh, as of right now, you're not able to copy them from the app. So you have to kind of type them out. If you're not super familiar with how some of that language works, it can be a little bit of a pain. So I'll throw those in the link in the description of the video. Um, so it's pretty easy for you to copy those over. But we'll start with the most basic one, and that's a link to your home screen. And what you're going to do is just set up your shortcut however you want. You don't even need to do the set playback destination thing. If you just want it to um, solely be something on your home screen that you tap and it opens up your your home screen on Marvis, um, you can skip this first step that I have right here. But I like to just show kind of how these can all work together. Um, so we're going to search for URL and we're going to do open URL. And then the link for the Marvis home screen is just going to be Marvis Pro colon forward forward slash home. Do that. And um, that's pretty much it. So if I click done on there, if I tap that, the first time this shows up, it's going to ask me if I want to allow that, and I will. That only shows up once, and it takes. You can see that like it tried to open up the now playing screen, but it took me right to that home screen. Um, so you know, it's not just the home screen that you're able to set up shortcuts for, which is great. You can actually do a lot of different things. So you can do um, specific sections or even um, specific mixes, which is or home home items, I guess, for lack of a better word. Um, so let's use an example now of um, doing a section instead of just pulling me to the home screen. So let's say that I want to pull it up and have my selection of, you know, my quote unquote smart playlists or song mixes that I have all grouped together. So by taking that existing URL right here at a question mark, section equals, and then we're going to do song. And here's kind of a tip for you. If you need a space in between there, you'll do the percent 20 and then mixes. I just learned that a couple weeks ago. Um, so if I do that instead of the home screen, we'll click on done. We'll run this, see what it does. It's going to pull me right to my home, my home within a home of the different song mixes that I have set up right there. Um, so this, again, this can be really useful if you're somebody who values time over all else. You can actually just create a shortcut to each different major home that you have on your um, main home screen right here. And very easily from your iPad or iPhone home screen, tap one button and it'll launch it right into, into here. Um, so some of this was able to be done by widgets as well. So that's definitely an option. But these shortcuts can be made into a standard icon size. So you could have many, many more of them, maybe in a folder on your home screen, whereas widgets do look nicer. It'll have the album artwork or things like that, but each one takes up the space of four icons. So something to keep in mind there. Another link that you can use that I've found to be um, useful, if you want to try to find different sections that are not all part of one home um, grouping or something like that, you can actually do a URL for a search term. Um, so this can be useful for you know, if you want to search for a lot of different, basically anything you can think of um, that you can search for, 
you can use this to pull up. So the one way that I've been able to find this to be useful is to um, change the little text that's associated with the section to be almost like a tag. Uh, for now, I've talked to the dev a little bit about maybe adding a description for sections, and that would be an easier way to do this. But for now, this way works really well. I don't usually read that super small all caps font, and I'll show you what I'm talking about in a second here. Um, but let's say, so instead of opening up song mixes, um, I have various cycling sections that I use, um, largely because I lose service when I go out biking. So I want to have a variety of different downloaded sections available to me, but I don't necessarily want to group them all together or have duplicates. So I've changed a couple things on them to um, have them all show up from the same search term. And it'll look something like this. So you're going to do the, the same Marvis Pro colon forward slash forward slash. You're going to do search question mark term equals and then whatever your term is. So I'm going to do cycling. Then you're going to do and source equals and you can either do library or um, if you wanted to just kind of see like is there new music associated with some search term uh, and this will always pull that up you could do apple music right here like that and it would work uh, for stuff that's not in your library but for me i'm just looking for stuff that's in my library we'll click done and we'll see how that works it's going to pop that up because it's a new link in there and this is what it pulls up. So you can see it's just like I typed in a search term up there. Um, and then in the um, top left of the first and last result here, you can see in all capitals, it says cycling and that's how it pulled in. And then I had one mix that I just made for this video that's actually called cycling, which also pulled in right here in the middle. So really quick way um, now to um, be able to find these items that I use. And I'm usually in kind of a rush. I'm trying to get out on my lunch break or something like that. So it's helpful for me to see this stuff with just a click of a button instead of opening up Marvis, finding the search button, typing it in, and then going from there. And um, you can also set these up with automations. So I have a bike computer that I use. And one of the automation options that you have is when a certain device connects to your iPad or iPhone, you can have it run a shortcut and you can run this shortcut. So it'll actually um, give me the option to pull this search up as soon as I connect my bike computer. So that automations piece is something that I went over a little bit in the last video and it's, it's pretty useful for doing different things like this. The last super quick thing I'm going to go over that's kind of related to the same update that we just got is the ability to open various things from other apps in the, the Marvis Pro app. So I'm going to use Spotify as an example, but this also works for anywhere you can get a song link. So it works in the Apple Music app. Um, if somebody sends you a link, um, there's a couple different ways that you can open it up in Marvis and see kind of, you know, is this already in my library? How have I rated it? All that good stuff. So I'm going to start here with one of my favorite albums from all time. Um, you can see Spotify is pitching me on paying them some money, and I will never do that over Apple Music because of Marvis Pro specifically. But let's say that I open up this um, album. Somebody sends it to me who uses Spotify. And what I can do is actually um, specifically share this right here. And you're going to click on the More button. And then this part was throwing me off in the beginning, but I've now figured it out. Um, so I was looking for different apps in here. I was trying to see if, if Marvis Pro was in there, but it's actually going to show up down here in these white links. Um, so maybe something you want to move up. I'm just looking at some of these links I have here and I don't use half of them. Um, but if you click on this open in Marvis Pro app, it's actually going to pull this album up just like that. And it's even got related albums down there, um, featured on. Um, you can see that these are all in my collection already because there's no plus sign on there. So again, a good way to just kind of quickly pull stuff up in a, an environment where you're a little more familiar with like Marvis Pro if you spend as much time as I do in this app. So very, very convenient stuff. This, now this can also be done by copying the link. Um, so if somebody sends you a link through messages or something like that, you can actually copy this link. And if you head over to Marvis Pro, it will pull that right up. Um, you do have to turn one sound for that. That setting is down here under the advanced tab and this monitor clipboards for URLs. If you have that turned on, then every time you open up Marvis, it'll take a look at your clipboard and see if you have a song link in there. 
So very, very, very convenient stuff. Um, love these new updates and new features that are being added here. It's making my life easier. And I'm honestly at a loss for what other stuff could be added at this point. But we'll see how things continue to change. And I'll try to make videos as we hit some of those updates like that. Um, but that's about all I got for today. So I hope you all have a great rest of your day. And thanks again for watching.